and good morning, good evening, good afternoon. We are live. And of course me, look at me. I forgot some of my notes. <laughs> we are live. So um, welcome everybody who has joined. You can restart, um, close out the app and then come back in, see if it works. Um, uh, Candace, can you give me a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear me okay? Hi everyone, my audio is not working. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat if you hear my audio. Thumbs up, perfect. Okay, so we get crack a lack in. As long as you can hear me, let's go. I'm, I, I'm gonna be speaking about how to start an online business from scratch. Uh, it's near and dear to my heart to teach others this, but also mindset is something that I'm really, really, really huge on. So. I'm gonna share something that I actually just learned today. I hope you guys, uh, most of you guys that are on here are entrepreneurs. So I hope you guys are investing into yourself on a regular basis. I just invested into myself just a couple of days ago because um, a woman uh, by the name of Gabby um, asked me to be on her podcast called The Resilient Heart. And so um, of course I accepted. And she just recently posted that she was going to be a part of a virtual summit speaking about healing your mind, body, and soul, which is another one of my favorite topics. So I was like, whatever it costs, I'm there. So I paid for it. And today was the last class and Gabby actually spoke. So shout out to Gabby Garland. Um, but this is what she taught. And I thought it was really profound because I am such a giver. And I'm sure a lot of us are very giving as well, especially us females. Um, and this is the give strategy. So I, she didn't necessarily say this, but I look at it as the pop, proper way to give. So I'm just gonna give a little bit of this and then get into the presentation for the online, um, but starting an online business from scratch. So the give strategy, the G stands for gratitude. Daily, you should be writing down at least five things that you are grateful for. The more that you're grateful for things, the more things to be grateful for comes. Next, the I and give, the give strategy, the I is intention. How are you going to show up? So actually, I'm just remembering, she said, this is what you should be writing down on a daily basis, your give strategy, okay? So your intention for the day, what do you plan on, well, how do you plan on showing up for your day? each day? What is your intention for each day? Okay, and her three things that she intends to do um, every single day is be loving, kind, and have grace. So she said that even though like the next thing is actually going to be taking notes, not taking notes, but the next step is going to be actually writing down, even though she might not have did anything on her list, her to-do list, as long as she was giving, excuse me, as long as she was loving, kind, and gave grace or had grace, then she's happy with her day. She's happy with the outcome of her day. So back to the give strategy. We already went through gratitude is the G. I is intention. How are you going to show up for your day every single day? And then V is vision, vision. So you can write out a 50 to 60 day vision plan for yourself. What do you see? Where do you see yourself in 50 to 60 days? Just write it out. Let whatever come to your mind, write it out. Don't even think about maybe it will be longer than 60 days. Maybe it might be shorter than 60 days. It doesn't matter, but you should be writing out your vision um, for 50 to 60 days, but then also your one year vision too. So it's almost like writing out your goals, but I like how they worded it with vision. It's like, what is, what do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself in 50 to 60 days? Where do you see to yourself in one year? Um, where do you see yourself today? If your intention is how are you going to show up today, write down your vision for today as well. And then the E and the give strategy is execution, execution. So now you're going to write down two to three things that you want to accomplish for that day. Don't have a million page list. I have, I have to write out stuff like I do. And my to-do list be like this. And when I go back the next day, because that list is like this, I don't get anything done because I'm overwhelmed already by looking at the list. <laughs> so if you write down two to three things, the most important two to three things that you want to get done. Some people do business and personal, two to three business, two to three personal. That's good too. 
Um, but at the end of the night, make sure that you highlight or check off those two to three things that you plan on executing for the day. Okay, so the gift strategy, I'm gonna give, break it down one more time real fast. G is for gratitude, I is for intention, V is for vision, and E is for execution. I hope you guys appreciated that because I appreciated this morning. So I wanted to give it back to you all. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. If you have any questions, you can put it in the chat. Always here to answer them. Uh, if anybody was on my last training, I did Zoom um, webinar for the first time and Zoom webinar is completely different than Zoom meetings. The setup, the behind the scenes is just like so techy. It's almost like you have to have an assistant with you to, to work it. So I'm no longer gonna be using that. I like the Zoom meetings because I can see my people's faces. <laughs> I can, um, and it's not as easy, I mean, it's not as hard to find the chat box button, even though it was, I think it was in the same place actually, but okay, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Come on, present, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so how to create and launch a profitable business online, let's go. I'm gonna put the little chat right here, okay. Hopefully I can put this right here, it doesn't mess up anything. Okay, so use how to use your specialized knowledge to create an online business. If you ever read the book, Think and Grow Rich, uh, Napoleon Hill speaks about specialized knowledge. We all have some kind of specialized knowledge inside of us. Maybe we've learned it through schooling, maybe we've learned it through life, but we all have some kind of specialized knowledge within us. And so I'm hoping as your coach to bring that knowledge out of you. Today's agenda, by the end of this session, you will understand what is a brand. You'll have a plan on where to begin. You will build a framework to get started and you will refine your current strategies in order to, uh, uh, basically you're gonna examine your current strategies and see if they're a part of what I'm speaking about in this presentation. So who am I? I am your coach, Stacy Christine. <laughs> um, I teach entrepreneurs how to create an online business through digital products while positioning themselves online, attracting their perfect customers, and launching a profitable online business within 30 days. I've been helping entre entrepreneurs for about uh, five years, since 2017, and my main focus is to help entrepreneurs break through their inner blockages so that they can prosper online. Inner blockages is huge. I didn't know it until... I kept on failing and failing and failing and I had to start doing inner work. So inner work and your morning routine is so important. Those are all of the things that I do teach. This is gonna be about, more about business than anything. So um, this may be you if you've been working a job for many years and after COVID, you're just over it. You either got laid off or you're not happy or you could be a direct marketing person, affiliate marketing, multi-level marketing and you see people um, online making good money, but you aren't seeing the same success that they're seeing. Team duplication is not happening for you like they are on all these success stories for direct marketing, affiliate, and multi-level. It's just not happening for you. Um, and then you, maybe you've been in the industry for years, your industry for years, and either you want to work for yourself full-time or you want to be able to generate a full-time revenue on your own. You may also want to, you may be, this may be you if you want to create a massive impact and transformation by packaging up your knowledge and skill set into a higher end offer, high end offer. You, this may be you if you're serious about learning how to articulate your value, but um, so that you can, you're serious about articulating your value um, so that you can attract quality clients, make good money and build wealth. But your biggest problem is you want to help people and make your online business your full-time job, but you have nowhere to begin. You're not quite sure where to begin. There's so much knowledge out there. You have no idea where to start and buckle down in. Um, maybe you've already, your biggest problem is you, already, you are already established and you are severely undercharging for your services and coaching. I know that for a fact that a lot of people severely are over, undercharging for their services. Um, and we'll get more into that a little bit later. So what's frustrating to you is you see everyone online with a profitable online business, but you have no clue where to begin, where to start to do the research. And when you start to do the research, uh, there's a million and one ways to get started, but a lot of them seem a little sketchy to you. <laughs> 
I know that was me when I first started. So what you're looking for is basically a clear, clear strategy, clear direction on where to start, how to create it without spending thousands, and how to launch profitably and create an automated business. I'll show you the exact process um, to create a brand that stands out, how to take your specialized knowledge and turn it into an online business, and how to launch profitably within 30 days. So let's get into the goodness. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this presentation. So first off, um, you are a brand. I created this acronym thinking of what exactly is a brand. A lot of people have a misconception. A lot of people think that you have to have all the accolades in the world. You have to have a Grammy, an Oscar, a Academy Award in order to start anything, a thriving music career to start anything. And that's not the case. There's actually been a lot of millionaires breaking just off of what I'm about to teach because they pulled their specialized knowledge before they had all the accolades and started teaching and serving. So the acronym that I came up for you are a brand is the Y stands for your story. Your story matters. What you went through matters. Those were all lessons. Um, and when you go through the healing process, you find out the reasons why things happen to you. And the most times those things that happen to you, you can share in your story and you're actually going to be attracting the perfect customers because they can resonate with you. They'll be able to resonate and feel your story because maybe they went through it or somebody close to them went, to, went through it. So always remember your story. And then the O stands for occupation. Occupation you know, most of us had a couple of jobs, just a couple of jobs, at least in our lifetime, right? You had to make a paycheck somehow. This is what they tell us to do in school, go to job, go to school, get a, go to college, get a job, then you can retire and have your picket fence and blah, blah, blah. They teach us to go get a job. And jobs, I've been a million and one jobs. They all taught me something different. So all of those things that I learned from all of the jobs I've been through, I'm putting into my my course, my package, my, my, my purpose on sharing with everybody the experiences that I learned. So think about the occupations that you've been through. Think about the ones that you really, really love, like you really enjoy doing. That's the direction that you should be leaning in for your business, okay? Your online business. And then the U stands for universities. I'm not just talking about college, your college years, what you went through, what you studied. I'm talking about the school of hard knock life, all right? The school of hard knock life. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll say it. Jay-Z is such an influencer without being on social media just because he keeps on um, leveling up. He keeps on just expanding and growing his business. And he started off as a freaking drug dealer. <laughs> so he took what he learned from the streets and made it into a business and you guys can do the same thing too so this is who you are your brand is who you are this um your story matters and most time people's story is a part of their purpose and they don't even realize it so branding now the technical aspects of it is when you're starting your own brand, yes, it's about you. Yes, it's about your story, but you also need to be, I call it a little bit brainwashing and attracting the people that you really want to be a part of your, your crew, a part of your business. Um, you're not supposed to be just signing up anybody and everybody to take a dollar. No, you're supposed to be attracting the people that are resonate with you, that know, like, and trust you. Um, and also, you may want to niche niche down and kind of only serve women or kind of only serve men, whatever, but your brand has to represent that. So my brand, um, Coach Stacy Christine, my colors, it, the main one is magenta. Magenta is stands for or represents kindness, self-respect, compassion, greatness, and tolerance. And then you are creative and down to earth. So that's all of me as a person, even though I don't like pink like that. <laughs> um, and that's everything that I want to attract to me. So that's my colors for that. Uh, I'm not even gonna get into my, my actual business. Okay, I'll speak about it because some people don't even realize. Oh, um, <laughs> your coach Stacy Christine is kind of sort of my business slash personal. That's where I put a little bit of my actual opinion on certain things. Now, I don't want to, that to deter people 
from my actual business. I don't discriminate on people, but you know, you got to stand for something or you're going to fall for anything, right? So um, my actual business, which is monetize your brand online, those colors are purple, which stands for creativity, royalty, and wealth. And then yellow, which represents happiness and hope. Okay, so those are the those are the type of people that I'm trying to attract. And so my brand colors are representing that. All right. So think about what you want your brand to um, to basically be known for, which is the next topic. What do you want to be known for? Start Googling what colors represent those things and start playing around with it. Having two to three colors max is what you need. You could have just one standout color or two standout colors, but you don't want to go no more than three colors because it gets too busy. OK, so remember that. Um, and then also for your branding aspect, for your actual business, think of one main category you want to be known for. I want to be known for mindset. I'm all about changing the mind and having a positive mental attitude. I've been brainwashed since I was 18, being in a direct marketing company. That was the PMA, PMA. They would put it in my head, and but I believe in it. Now I'm learning the steps you really got to take to fully have that positive mental attitude. And that's what I'm teaching, but I'm all about mindset. So that's my main category that I speak about on all my pages. The next category is monetization. It is how to take something like a free platform, like Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, uh, Clubhouse, take a free platform and monetize it. Monetizing really just means make money off of it. But it, it, it is different than just money. You're taking something that you're not necessarily producing and you're making money from it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And then the next subtitle is money, wealth creation. We are supposed to be living abundantly. If nobody has told you yet, abundance is your birthright. Whoever can hear my voice right now, I want you to put in the chat, abundance is my birthright. Abundance is my birthright. So money, money is a huge thing. You got to pay the bills. <laughs> you got to eat. Um, you got to make money. But the thing that I'm really trying to teach all of my students is you can live abundantly. You no longer have to live comfortably. We always ask God, can you pay my rent? Can you pay my mortgage? How about can you bless me with this mansion that I've been looking at for a couple of years? <laughs> can you do that for me, bro? Can you do that for me? <laughs> so that's branding. Tell me in the chat. This is a little bit of an exercise. After you put abundance is my birthright, tell me in the chat, what is your monthly goal? What is your monthly goal? Stop and really think about how much will it take for you to live abundantly? Not just comfortably, for you to live abundantly. I wanna give you a second. You can share it in the chat if you want to. Ooh. Mm -mm. I'm playing too much over here. I'm playing too much. <laughs> and then the second question, what do you want to be known for? Before you even fully get into what you can sell, what you can do, what you can offer, what do you want to be known for? Those are really big things. Um, while you're thinking of what do you want to be known for, what makes you happy as well? What makes you happy? How, what kind, what, in what forms um, gives you the most joy in helping others? Is it mainly in person? Can you do it virtually? Would you want to make a retreat, have a little getaway for all your students? Write that out. What is it that makes you happy? I was gonna share some more notes about the little conference that I was at this morning, but we're gonna stick to this presentation. Just always remember what makes you happy first and foremost, and then your business should revolve around that. So in your business, you wanna make the goal to make an impact and solve problems. Make it your goal to make an impact and solve problems. <laughs> this little chat situation. <laughs> When you make it your goal to give impact and solve problems, you will um, you will get both by delivery of, excuse me, let me just read exactly what I have on my slide. You get both impact and solving problems by delivering a high quality slash high ticket 
offer. You get, you give the most impact when you, and you solve problems, when you deliver a high quality product or offer that is high ticket. And high ticket just means it's actually like a premium cost. It's not no $27, $37, $99, $97. No. Now, I do know people making a lot of money just off a $97 product and she started off at a $20. I'm not knocking it. <laughs> but know that you're deserving and worthy of those higher tickets. And whenever you have higher tickets, it's actually less work. And I'm going to get into that later. So you get both by delivering a high quality and high ticket offer that creates transformation. So you're in the business of creating transformation. Why high ticket works? Basically, the internet is full of cheap content that partially solves an, our ideal client's problem. It's pointless to sell watered down books, multiple, excuse me, watered down information in multiple different books, our multiple different memberships, or even one hour calls. It's pointless to exert all that energy into so many eBooks, into so many memberships, into so many one hour calls when you can just focus Focus, follow one course until success is the word focus, the acronym for focus. So high ticket works because transportation happens when you give your clients exactly what they need the first time around. The transformation happens when you give your clients exactly what they need the first time around. So if you are in the business of transformation, you need to be in the business of high ticket offers. I hope you guys are getting this. Um, why high ticket works? Because premium prices attracts quality clients and quality clients produce quality results, which then produces quality testimonials. All of that is bars. All of that is bars. So premium prices attract quality clients and quality clients produce quality results, which you're gonna end up getting quality testimonials. So when you undervalue yourself, you attract clients who undervalue you too. People will come to you expecting Chanel level value with a Fashion Nova budget. You ain't getting no Chanel level value with a Fashion Nova budget. You're not, you're not. And my mom was a thrift shopper. <laughs> Well, it has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but yeah. All right, so here we go. How does it work? There are three things you need to master to confidently sell a premium signature offer. The three things are mindset, message, and marketing. Mindset, message, and marketing. You must basically get your mindset, get your vision clear. That's what I told you before. It was basically have a vision of what you want to see yourself doing right? You need to have a clear vision and be specific. When you're more specific, the more closer to your dreams you're going to get. Dead serious. Like you got to be like, I want to be sitting on the beach, looking at crystal blue water, sipping on my cocktail with my laptop sitting next to me and nothing but payment transactions are coming through while I'm enjoying my rum cocktail. You know, like get that descriptive on what you, where you see yourself in your business. Now that's like the outcome of hard work, but it's the same factors on what is your vision on how you wanna set up your business. And then you gotta affirm it. Affirmations are key for your morning rituals. You wanna make sure you're affirming all of the things that you want. Um, you can do this while journaling, like I was talking about a little bit earlier. You could do this with mirror work, with having affirmations in front of the mirror, um, but you need to affirm it. and. I like to tell people that the word believe you in order to make anything work, you got to have belief, you got to believe and in the word believe is the word lie. So you have to initially lie to yourself in order for you to truly believe in what you're going to have. So lie to yourself, man, lie to yourself. Then you got to make a commitment, a commitment, not only to your business, but also to yourself. 
There, I believe in resting. I love to sleep. That's my favorite thing to do is sleep, 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 sleep. God, yes, he knows. <laughs> um, but I know there are times where I need to stay up a little bit later and get the information out that I wanted to get out. Set up my business for the next day because I have this energy built up inside of me. I need to use it productively. I'm not just going to sit there and twiddle my thumbs in the bed. I'm going to get up and go ahead and work. Or if I have a deadline, I really want to get this deadline out the way, I'm going to stay up if I have to and get it done. So make that commitment for yourself too, to not only make sure you do your mirror work, your, your inner work in the morning, and you commit yourself to your actual business. And always you should have character, character in your business. What type of character do you want to perceive? Do you want to come across? Do you want to eventually be? And what other type of characteristics do you wanna see in your perfect customers, okay? Next step is messaging. Storytelling is so amazing. Um, facts tell, stories sell. Facts tell, stories sell. So stories are gonna sell, okay? And you don't necessarily just have to use your story. You can use other people's success story. Um, this is National Women's Month, March. Uh, one, I'm trying to at least once a week or twice a week post two women that I am uh, uh, motivated by and inspired by. And one person that I posted last week was Stormy Wellington. She is the top producer in the multi-level company um, TLC. And she was telling her story on an interview that I was watching and she came from the bottom of the bottom. Her, she, her, her story is so deep that she says her mom was put on her way to her abortion appointment at five months pregnant with her, but her father stopped it with a fight. And then she said the next level of her business, you know, after surviving, getting over that, was she had to go through another fight just to break out of being a stripper. Then she had to go through another fight of breaking, uh, breaking out of losing a million dollars. She left a lost a million dollars a couple of times, but she noticed that there is a pattern. Like her start, her life started off as a fight, and so she had to continue to fight. And like her story was so powerful, I almost wanted to invest in TLC just because of her, <laughs> just because of her. But I don't, I don't do multi levels anymore. I don't do it. So <laughs> anyway, storytelling matters. Connecting with other people matters. People need connection so much during this time. Um, and that ties into community. Building a community of like-minded people is such a rewarding thing to be a part of. It really is. When you can see somebody that looks like you doing the things you wanna do, it actually motivates you to get stuff done, okay? Okay. And then, and then the next thing in your messaging, you wanna make sure you're doing a tr uh, content marketing. Content marketing is basically your content sells your product. Your content sells your product, okay? So the content that you post is selling it for you. You should have people in your DMs talking about, how do I buy this from you? How do I get this from you? Not saying, oh, I have all these questions. I'm just really not even sure if it's gonna be. Um, no, your content is gonna make people say, give me what you have and I want it right now, okay? So then marketing, your pricing strategy, it's got to be, you got to really map out your business before you even start. Don't just throw things here and there. Map out your business before you even start. So then you create your funnels and your revenue. Your funnels is what work is working for you while you're sleeping in bed. And then your marketing plan. Your marketing plan um, should be in line on how you're going to market yourself how you're gonna expand. Are you gonna just do it organically, which is possible to still make a lot of money, or you're gonna add ads and sales into it, ads and funnels, excuse me, no, ads into it. Sorry, I was distracted. And then the systems, you gotta have systems in the place for your business to move smoothly and for you to not exert so much energy and effort. Okay, so now a little bit more about mindset. You gotta be crystal clear on your vision and goals. Committing to becoming the person that achieves your vision and goals. You got to be believing in your vision and goals. You got to be investing in your vision and goals. And you got to be surrounding yourself with people who have similar vision as you. Okay? Surround yourself with people that have similar vision as you. Because misery loves company. Okay? People that want are miserable, they want other people to be miserable right around you, right around them too. So they'll try to drag you in, but try to surround yourself with positive people with a similar vision as you. Now messaging, being clear on your audience, 
being clear on your niche and how you position your value. So riches are in the niches. Riches are in the niches. When you niche down or niche down and specify exactly who you want your perfect customer to be, or people also call it an avatar, um, that's gonna be a clear vision. And basically like you'll have tunnel vision just for those people. And don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to only wanna help this type of person. It's okay. Cause your riches are in your niches. Okay. So then a part of messaging messaging is having a specific offer with a specific outcome. You got to, you got the, your customers need to know what they're going to receive after they join whatever you have or sign up for whatever you have. They need to know what outcome they can get. Okay. My outcome for my course is we're launching an online business within six weeks, period, point blank. Period, point blank. Um, next, using content and storytelling to build trust around your brand and offer. Like I said, your content should be selling itself. You shouldn't have to put in too much work with it, but it's also gonna build trust with for your brand, around your brand and your offer. And then that trust as an expert is gonna also lead to trust. You need to also be leading them to trust as a human. We're all human. We all have feelings. We all make mistakes. You, your people need to know that you are human too, that you're not some extraterrestrial just killing in and blah, 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 blah. No, you go through some sugar, honey, iced tea too. Try not to cuss so much. <laughs> All right, so marketing, using your content to grow your list and increase your sales. So your email list, if you're an online marketer and an online marketer is just somebody who sells online, no matter what they're selling, I just had a really bad thought, like selling ass online. You got to build your list. For <laughs> I think you probably do. But anyway, so you're using your content to grow your list. Your email list is your should be your top priority as an online marketer, because uh, what happens if Instagram or Facebook completely shuts down? Now, maybe that's not going to happen. But what happens if Instagram or Facebook changes the rules on how you can sell because they see so many millionaires happening on these social media platforms? And they have done that. They've had put restrictions on what they're what people are selling. You can get blocked. You can get your pages can get completely taken away. There's a thing called Facebook jail. They might not let you do uh, Facebook lives anymore or go into groups anymore. They have the control over your business whenever you're on those platforms. But your email list, as long as you pay and keep your list up and uh, uh, keep your list saved and just in case anything falls off, your email list is what you control. Nobody else can control it. One thing that I definitely wanted to say on this webinar today, I was listening to something else while driving. He was basically saying how you need to focus in on your buyers. You're going to have prospects on your list, absolutely. But you need to show the most love to your buyers, the people have bought from you before. Okay, so yes, your entire list matters, but you really should be focusing on the people that have bought from you before. And then, of course, the prospects too, because those are the people that you're able to, you know, speak more to about what's going on in your business without having the limitations of Instagram and Facebook. Woo, that was a lot. I'm going to take a sip. <laughs> All right, so with marketing, you also need to have systems and sales strategies in place, which is a funnel um, to see growth in your business. It can't be, I'm only doing it, I'm only going live, I'm only sending out this email. Like That's not how your business grows. When you have a, the perfect funnel, and it doesn't have to be expensive, when you have the perfect funnel, like I said, your pipeline, people are just going to go through your pipeline to buy from you. Then you got to make sure that you measure your results measure your results to see if they are aligned with your vision and goals. If you're always on Facebook talking about Facebook doing all of this stuff and you're not seeing any sales, why don't you switch it up? Switch it up and go somewhere else. Go to Instagram. It's always on doing it, just testing it out. And if you're getting results, then focus on the place that you're getting the most results, okay? Focus on the place that you're getting the most results. My mentor a long time ago said, master one platform before you go to the next. Master one platform before you move on to the next. Now, 
with Facebook and Instagram, they kind of go hand in hand. Like you can literally just post something on Instagram and send it to your Facebook page. That's what I've been doing. I've been focusing on Instagram, building that up and just sending stuff to Facebook. Because I did notice when I took my two to three year break, uh, my social engagement just went completely down. So I have to build that back up again. And I don't want that for anybody. So just funnel your Instagram stuff to your Facebook, but focus in on your Instagram. If that's the platform that you want to use. So make sure that you measure your results and they are aligned with your vision and goals. All right, so the three components of your offer, we already said that's mindset, messaging, and marketing. What happens if you don't use all three? So my, mindset and messaging without marketing, you'll attract a lot of fans. The OMG, I love your content, but nobody actually buys from you because you're not selling. Marketing is selling at the end of the day. You got to sell your products. If people don't know what you have, they're not going to buy it. They're not going to buy it. So you got to market. Now, mindset and marketing together without mes messaging, you will end up attracting a lot of people that have money to buy you, buy from you, but they won't be the right clients. You'll be paid, but miserable and out of alignment. So that's why your story matters, where you came from matters, the universities you went to matters, um, because that's going to attract the people that are aligned with you. They're going to resonate. They're going to understand that. So now you're going to find people that resonate with you and you're going to feel like they're your best friends <laughs> and um, you're, the work that you put into helping them is going to feel like aligned. You're going to feel aligned. You're going to feel good about what you're doing because you're attracting the right people. So messaging is really, really important. Then messaging and marketing without mindset. Messaging and marketing without mindset. You will attract a lot of the right people but your lack of clarity and confidence will scare them away and you'll be too scared to fully commit to serving them. I'm gonna be vulnerable as fuck right now, okay? When I started in this online journey, I literally just took what my coach or mentor said and just did it. Um, I did have a little bit of insecurities about doing it and that transcend to me doing it. And then I would get results, but you know what I would do? I would self-sabotage myself. And I would be like, you know what? I'm not really feeling like speaking to this person right now. Let me just reschedule. Um, I don't really know. I don't feel right. I just don't feel like I look good. I don't want to get on camera with them. So I'm just going to reschedule. I was self-sabotaging my business because I didn't have my mindset together fully. I was promoting all these positive things, but at the end of the day, I really didn't feel it. And <laughs> the inner work that I teach, you inevitably have to feel it. And so now that I feel it, you see me on camera, you see me in the emails, you see me coming down in your DMs, right? Because I know uh, what I have works and I'm doing my own inner work to make sure that that comes across on screen. So I hope you guys understand that. <laughs> so when you master all three components, mindset, messaging, and marketing, you'll end up getting a six-figure coaching business, coaching or service business um, or strategy. You'll also get a successful five-figure launches that lead to consistent five-figure months. And working with clients, you'll actually enjoy making a true impact. One little thing that I wanted to say is online marketers, their minimum wage is 10K per month, 10K per month. So if you're moving to online, don't worry about having that big goal of 10K per month because that's actually minimum wage. You can literally make a buku amount more. So I, I, I tell people to strive for 10K. However, you know, there's levels to the shit and also your confidence has to get, um, it has to be leveling up as well. So you can start a little bit low if you really, really wanted to just to test out things, but you need to be striving for that higher amount. And I don't even know why I said that because that's the shit that I'm really not trying to push out too much, but it is the truth. Once you know that you can sell at this level, you can go to the next level sometimes. And that's why I tell people to just throw out an ebook, throw out a little $27 ebook, see how that works for people. And then we're going to move on. We know that the ultimate goal is for a premium price. Okay. Okay. I'm keeping it real over here. Just keeping it real. That's what I do. That's what I do. So, but there is a caveat to all of this you need a premium signature offer that you feel confident about. When you feel confident about what you're doing, 
you're not going to be scared to put it out there. But that offer that you're putting out there needs to be premium and it needs to be your signature offer. So we're going to get into that right right now, what signature offers you could be offering. Um, so the biggest mistakes experts make in this phase is they're trying to sell too many offers instead of having a leading signature offer. This is the biggest hindrance to six and seven figure success because it lacks focus. You're ending up lacking focus on your ultimate goal when you're trying to sell a million and one things leading up to your ultimate goal. So one to two things you can really sell, you can sell really well before trying to have three plus offers. The advice that I give to most of my clients is have one to two offers that you can get $100,000 to before you go and sell anything else. Like I said, master one thing and then move on to the next. If you have one or two offers, you're and they usually go hand in hand with each other, you're focusing on that and you're getting to 100K and now you're gonna scale, okay? And maybe you'll move on to another thing or you scale and you make those things bigger. Um, but anything else is usually a distraction, okay? Any other whole bunch of offers is just a distraction from your ultimate goal. So this is what most people do. Most people will have a free lead magnet to build up their email list. Then they create a $25 ebook, $97 masterclass, $15 templates and resources, then $27 for a pre recorded training. They sell about 25 ebooks, 30 masterclasses, 10 templates and resources, and 10 pre recorded trainings. After all of those sales, which is about that's 50, 60, 70, that's 80 sales right there, they, may, they barely make $4,000. 80 sales, and you're barely making $4,000. The average American's income is $2,000 to $4,000 per month. So that's like some full-time work right there. Selling 80 of the all of those things, not even including the free lead that magnet situation, and you're making 4 k This online stuff isn't about minimum wage. It's not about having a job. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be living abundantly, okay? This is the wrong way to do it, people. So a lot of people are exerting more energy to make less money and less impact. What my clients do is they come up with two solid offers, okay? So your first offer. A premium course should be start about 500 and above. I've paid 5,000 for a course before because I knew it was gonna change my life and it has. A lot of my beauty industry trainings was about 1,500 to $1,000 that I got the most impact from, was about 1,500 to $2,000. So my comfortable range, and also I was doing microblading trainings for $1,500. My comfortable range, just be, being in so many different industries is starting off around $1,500 for your premium signature offer. Then if say, for example, you have a course and that's $1,500, but then you start selling coaching, people want you one-on-one -on -one full time, that coaching should be three to five times more than your actual course. Okay, so then let's say the next one is your coaching package, that's $5,000, right? So let's say you put forth the messaging, the marketing, and the um, mindset all together, and you end up selling four of your first premium offer, $15. That's $6,000 right there, just by selling four. And then you got somebody that's like, yeah, your group is cool, but I want you, I want you and only you that you sell at $5,000, you make one sale, that's 5K. 6K plus 5K is $11,000 generated right there. Just with working with five people, five people. The last slide we said you sold 80 things plus and you made 4K. You could sell five things and make 11K just in one month when you have the perfect mindset, messaging and marketing. I hope this guy, this is expanding you guys' mind. So I know when I first started out five years ago, all they said was you need to have a $7 offer, a $27, a 97, then a 197, and then you could possibly get to the thousands and then maybe like 5,000, 10,000, you know? And I was like, I tried it, fucking failed, <laughs> completely failed. And if I would have just been taking all of my specialized knowledge that I had then and putting it in an online course, 
be in a different place right now but you know it's all god's timing and my angels wouldn't be here right now if i didn't go through that so i'm i'm thankful for it so again my your story matters my story matters but anyway so high ticket allows you to make more money and impact while exerting less energy high ticket allows you to make more money and more impact while exerting less energy now i wanted to show you guys some examples right so uh, your first premium offer can be uh, create a freebie. Well, excuse me, it's not your premium offer, but this is like how you lead to your premium offer. Create a freebie that is aligned with your signature offer. Create something that you can give away that's going to give some information that's valuable to your perfect customers, right? So that you can now start, start collecting their email addresses. So you're going to be promoting that freebie but you're collecting those email addresses because you're gonna start in your emails as well as in your content speaking about your offer. So the offer that you can be offering is um, a live event, a retreat, a signature course, um, something that, that brings people together for an event if you really want to, but an event can be just a Zoom meeting. Like I just, I got off of a virtual call, a virtual summit is what they call it today. And it was an event, they made it an event through Zoom. So you can create signature offers with a live event, a retreat or a signature course. You also need to start thinking about what is your price point? Where do you wanna start at? Do you want your offer to start at 1500? Do you want it to start at 500? What is your monthly goal? How many people do you have to sell that to in order to get to your monthly goal, okay? And now you have to put, once you get those two together, you have to start writing expert content to sell. So you got to be writing your content as if you're already the expert, as if you're already the authority, okay? People will do business with you if they know that you are an authority and that you have some value to give, all right? So let me give you my coach's million dollar strategy, just so you guys can have a better idea. So she first created a lead magnet. And the lead magnet was called the Message Mastery Playbook. This playbook, Message Mastery, basically, um, in the next slide, it goes, gives you even more details about it. But she wanted to teach her audience about messaging, how important messaging was. So once she started sending out those lead magnets, it ended up directing people in the, e in the DMs and also online to her signature offer, which is a three-day event. And a three-day event in Atlanta and you basically, and this was even during COVID, she actually just went live and she was saying how she was so thankful that everybody that attended did not have COVID coming and did not get, get COVID going back. So you can still create retreats and events. Things are getting a little bit back to normal, a little bit. But um, so her signature offer was a three-day event. She charged 1,000 to about 1,500 per ticket. And then that led her to her accelerator course. Okay, so these are her two premium offers, but then she has a freebie leading to these things. All right, there's levels to this shit. There's levels to this shit. So then <laughs> the accelerator course, and I'm gonna get a little bit more details about all of these. So her ebook was for coaches, experts, and service providers. Her promise and her message mastery playbook was master your message and attract high-end clients. Master your message and attract high-end clients. And then she connected people um, to her first premium offer, which was the three-day event, right? And that three-day event was for faith-based entrepreneurs, faith-based entrepreneurs. Her promise was to master your message, build your brand, and increase your income just with all of the information that she was going to be teaching at her premium course, or premium event. So then that led her to the accelerator course. So she told her people, hey, look, if you got something out of this, I want you to be a part of my accelerator course. Her accelerator course is only, you only get a six month membership and it allows you to master your message, marketing and mindset, plus a week in retreat is what she provides with her top, top tier offer, right? And I'm about to break down her prices over here. <laughs> so she started basically giving out these uh, eBooks. She started selling those 30 days prior to her signature offer, offer date, right? So she started sending those out 30 days before her actual event was gonna happen. Then during that 30 days, she um, started 
so what she ended up doing was she started also selling tickets for her pre premiere event um, three months prior to that. So she was already selling her tickets for a total of three months. But 30 days before her big event, that's when she was really promoting this free, valuable ebook, right? And so 150 people attended her signature premium event, right? 150 people attended. And anytime you're in business, a lot of sometimes people will pay and not even show up. That's self-sabotage one <laughs> or something really fucking happened and you really couldn't make it. But um, 150 people showed up. And so that means that she probably made more than this, but if 150 times the low end of 1,000, that's $150,000 she made just off for her three-day event, right? And so then since 150 people showed up there, she started talking about her accelerator program. Her accelerator program um, at her three-day event, 85 people signed up for her accelerator program at that event, which means that she ended up making $1,100,000 and $105,000 just at her signature event leading to her course. So her course made her a million dollars, but she put in all of this work to get to that million dollars. And that is totally possible for all of us. I wanted to expand you guys' mind on what a million dollar strategy really looks like. Um, and so that you guys can understand the importance of, um, you know, charging high. You're, if you're giving high impact and high value, you need to be charging high for it, okay? So we're just going to recap really fast. Um, what you want to do is create a freebie or an ebook that basically you're talking to your perfect customers. You're letting them know, like, look, I am the authority. I am the expert in this avenue. This category right here, you really need to master before you can move on to anything else. That's your freebie. That's your ebook that you could possibly charge for, especially if you already have a nice brand going. And then you're going to lead these people to your offer. Your offer can be a live event, a retreat, or a signature course, okay? You want to think about your price points. Okay, what price point? What kind of money are you trying to make over here? How many people are you going to need to have in order to get to that money, to get to that goal? And then you use your content and your attraction marketing to sell. Your content and attraction marketing to sell. All right, guys. So I'm going to introduce to you my course, <laughs> my premium course. Uh, I'll be at the beach, but I can talk. Okay. I'm going to be about five minutes late. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, so sorry, so sorry. I'm going to get this right here. All right. So monetize your brand online from pa profits to pass from passion. The profits course is the course that I created. Um, I, I have a lot of passions. I no matter what I love to serve but I also know that we're in a digital era now and it is time to get into the, this digital online thing. And you don't have to be just an Instagram model. You don't have to be a photographer. You don't have to be um, any of that in order to monetize your brand online. So that's what I'm teaching you guys. Um, and from Passion the Profits course, the six week virtual course is basically, this is all everything that I'm gonna be going over. Week one is gonna be about abundant mindset. How do you have an abundant mindset versus a scarcity mindset or a lack mindset or a wounded mindset or a victimhood mindset? <laughs> All of those is real. We is, we's human. We is human. So that stuff happens. But how do you have a consistent abundant mindset? That's what I teach. I also teach the HEAL process that I created. It's uh, the acronym for HEAL. It's basically the things that happen while you're healing is what I explain in that acronym. And then I also go over what's, what's a good morning routine. Everybody's routine can be different. There's basically like five categories that you really need to be tapping to throughout the day. Doesn't necessarily have to be in the morning, but I do speak about the miracle mornings that you can start um, just to get your mindset right. Because if your mindset right, your money ain't going to be right. Okay? Okay. So then week two. Week two, we go over your brand identity. What do you want your brand to represent? What do you want your brand to look like? What kind of feel do you want your people to have whenever they go onto your page, they go onto your website, they speak to you, they think about your course? 
What do you, what do you, what do you want your people to, to feel and know whenever they're around you? That's what we're going to dis discuss. Uh, and then um, you got to identify your perfect customers. Ident uh, identify your perfect avatar, as some people say. Then we're going to speak about digital products, the digital products that you can create in order to have that successful online business. Week three, we're going to go into content marketing and attraction marketing. Again, you should be attracting your perfect customers. They should want to be coming to you and your content should be selling itself. Oh, hi. I'll teach you how to do that. Week four is we speak about campaigns pre-selling anything before you even put it out, pre-selling anything before it's even created. Also the online tools that you need that cost $100 or less per month. I'm not trying to take money out your pockets. I'm trying to keep money in your pockets. So I also teach you the OPM method, which is using other people's money to invest into your business. You get money from other people, then you invest it into your business, okay? so. Well, once you do invest it into your business, I want I want that money to be going to these monthly subscriptions that you're going to have to get for your business to go. I don't want it to be coming out of your pocket. So that's why the pre-selling is so important so that you can start getting money so that those hundred dollars. OK. Uh, so that hundred dollars can be worth your time. The fifth week we go, we do a soft launch of your online business. And then the sixth week we track your data and it's your graduation. So I'm offering a bonus. Uh, your bonus is I will give you all of the content that you need to post on social media, as well as your email list. I create the post for you. I may ask you for a picture. I might take it from your social media, but I'm creating this stuff for you to build up your audience, to get them excited. So I give you guys that stuff, which is huge. I wish I had somebody do that for me when I was starting out. Bonus number two is I'm going to throw in a business shower. You're, I'm going to throw you a business shower. And yes, I said business shower, not baby shower, because a business is like a baby. It's your new baby. So you need to be celebrating it. We need to be normalizing business showers. We need to be normalizing people starting something to create ownership and create wealth around their family. So I create an entire presentation based off of what you created for your online business and I go and sell it to your peoples, all right? And then the bonus number three is I'm giving you six one-hour one-on-ones. Six one-hour one-on-ones to discuss, uh, to, we're gonna discuss what could be holding you back, what could we need work on. I show you the behind the scenes of my screen, you can show me the behind the scenes of your screen, and then we take off and we do action. So I wanted to bring up somebody that's so special to my heart. Um, her name is Candace Harry, and she basically uh, was my first student, I'll keep it 100. <laughs> She's my first student that I truly, truly put everything that I learned into a course and gave it to her. And um, I wanted her to take it for her field. And she's going to tell you a little bit about herself. I'm about to bring her out right now. You can come on up and unmute yourself and put yourself on camera if possible. Um, but I wanted her to come up and just kind of speak about her journey. Um, hi, Candace. I appreciate you. Hi, Stacy. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually now wrapping up my work day. Okay. So, but I'm here. I'm just gonna represent. I'm here. Appreciate you so much for doing this. So, um, tell, can you tell the audience a little bit about yourself before leading to me? Um. Okay. <laughs> I'll try to put on. On the camera. Okay, you see me? Hi. So I'm not supposed to be driving and I'm being on the on the um <laughs> the camera, right? But I'm Candace Harry. I am uh oh, I'm so many slashes. Don't start I driving yet. Car, Don't start driving. Stay in the stay in the parking lot. Can you do that? I, I, I gotta I, wait two seconds because I'm okay. I want you to be safe. Me. I don't. I will. Right. So I am a cosmetologist. I've been in cosmetology well here designing for 20 plus years i've recently started doing um educating online well not recently in the past five years i've been doing education 
and I wanted to actually brand and branch out and do more for my industry and the business. But I, I had the dream, I had the vision, but I did not understand how to get it done, if that makes sense. So I started to pray and I started to, you know, seek out ways of how to bring my vision to life. And I would have um, park now, right? <laughs> so I would have um, been guided towards another young lady and then you. And so when, you know, through my prayer and my fasting and really, you know, centering myself in the right positions, I was led to you on Clubhouse right? And I had to fight my fears <laughs> and come out of my comfort zone as being an introvert, but I'm learning to not call myself an introvert as well. And really say, you know what, just go for it. Just hit her up and be okay with the results. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. I, I, on, 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 what? What? <laughs> Oh, wow. That's what he thought. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. And so I met you on Clubhouse and I was really blessed ever since then that you have really helped me to transform my way of doing everything possible that you showed me that there is another side and so much more of me, but it started from my healing, started from believing and affirming all things good that are going to come to me. And you really guided me I want to I want to ask you one little question before you get into what I've actually helped you with. What um what was it about the first coach that you hired that it just wasn't wasn't exactly everything that you needed basically? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. What was it about your first coach that uh it wasn't working out exactly how you wanted it to? Like I I know you learned a lot, but it wasn't you wasn't able to fully launch with the information that she gave, right? No, I was not. Um, well, what it was, it was different because it was more or less about group. And I felt like I wanted that one-on-one -on -one attention. And that's what you really gave to me. You gave me the one-on-one -on -one attention that I needed to be able to help me, you know, feel supported, <laughs> if that makes sense, feel really supported to do all what was required of me to get to the other side of this business. I'm sorry, I know I'm doing so many things, I'm sorry. Right. It's okay, So I really okay. get, to, get to the other side of what's happening. And it was so much people that I felt like I, I was shy. <laughs> I was really shy and I, and I couldn't get the information or really grasp everything that was required of me. So I'm sorry. Gotcha. I got a flat um, tire. <laughs> you got a flat tire right now? Yeah, I got a flat oh tire. Oh my God. Oh I my know. God. Okay, okay. So um what what did you get from from my course? And I'm gonna let you go to go handle that. I'm so sorry to interrupt all of That's this. That's okay. I'm sorry too, because you know I love talking about my experience. What I got. I got so much more than words can describe, but the main thing was support. I got a lot of support from you. You poured so much into me that I didn't even believe was possible unless I paid. But you gave me so much more than what I even paid for. And I, I, I'm an advocate of that. I still believe that you need to up your prices, reason being, because of your worthiness, your worth. You really helped me change my mindset towards business, finances, and the possibilities of all things becoming possible. You understand? And so you, you gave the blueprint. You gave me the map, but it was for me to do the work. So it's, it's all about how much you really want this, how much you want out of this. What do you want out of this? And you definitely guided me through it. And I didn't feel alone. You really did support me and you really, you unlocked something new in me and I'm forever grateful. I am so grateful to you for not just helping me release my first online business, but I feel like there's so much more about to happen and about to come and you were the, the seeds that were planted in my life to 
take me from where I was, my stagnant phase, to the unlimited possibilities that is ahead of me. So I thank you. Thank you for saying that so much. Um, <laughs> there's two things that I wanted to say. When you are investing in yourself and you're aligning yourself with the right people, the devil will try to come and knock you down, even as something as simple you as getting a flat right tire. Now, right? <laughs> So you, you got to keep the positive mental attitude during the entire thing, get the thing done that you you the problem that you have done out your way and then move on to the next situation um, to better yourself and make sure that you um, relax after anything crazy that does happen kind of thing. Um, my one question that I wasn't I didn't tell you that I was going to ask was about how much money did you get from your business shower and how many signups did you get for your business? Um, whew, that, that, that varies like the, the exact number I, I would say is like close to $500 from the, the shower. It's, it's inside of there. Yeah. Um, but I have about five, is it five potential students right now waiting to sign up to what I have to offer. And Love that it. is yeah <laughs> love it so guys she hasn't even fully launched yet and she's already sold three different seats right and another thing i wanted to share about your success was um you created an ebook leading up to your course and you ended up getting five sales before the was even created as well so you want to pass if you Thank you, Candace, so much. I appreciate you. you. Go handle your tire, yeah, okay? It's, it's a lot, but it's I'm, okay. I'm getting help right now and I really need to focus. So thank you, Stacey, so okay, much. Okay, good, good. You can, you can, you're okay. welcome. Thank you for doing this. You can mute me. You can come off if okay. you want. Take care of what you got to take thank care of. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate her so much. Oh my God, I love her story. So guys, she hasn't even fully launched we just did a business shower to get the word out there. She's been a hairstylist for 20 some years. They know her for being their hairstylist, um, but she knew she needed to move into a different direction for her business, for herself, for her sanity, right? So she created this online business with me and we ended up uh, getting, what she said, $500 just from donations from her support um, from the business shower and then five signups for her business, her online business that isn't even fully ready, that isn't even fully launched, but she's working on it and she's putting work into it so that when it does fully launch, because she's a busy hairstylist, she's going to be really happy with the success, but she's already sold it just because of the strategies that I taught her. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. In order for you to hire me as your coach, my cost is $999. Like Candace said, I should be raising that price and I will be, but I'm keeping it for this round of, uh, uh, for this round of my course, which starts on Monday, which is tomorrow, March 8th. So when you pay $999, pay in full, you're gonna get three extra bonuses, three extra bonuses. You're getting three extra hour calls with me. What we're going to be discussing in those three coaching um, hours is purpose, positioning, and presentation. Purpose, positioning, and presentation. So I want you guys to know what your purpose is, get you in the right positioning so that other people can see you as an expert. And then we're going to brainstorm your presentation. The presentation is about branding, the visuals that you're going to be coming with your business, okay? Now, I know times is kind of hard. So I did offer a payment plan. The payment plan is six payments of 185. You pay 185 tonight, that's booking your seat for the course. And then you have five more payments of 185. No extra bonuses come along with it. All of the yellow bonuses that I showed, you're still getting. You're getting the group classes. You're getting the uh, one-on-ones for six weeks. I'm giving you all the content, but just those three positioning purpose and um, um, presentation, I can't give to you. So 185 tonight, put it down and then five more payments, okay? I only have about 10 seats available for my course because I give so much and there is four seats left. So I want you guys to get onto this opportunity. Like Candace said, I need to be raising my prices. So I'm listening, I'm listening to the universe and I will be doing it. So May is gonna be a lot more money, um, but right now it's at 999. And there's different ways that you can pay. You can pay through PayPal, that's the information, Cash App, Venmo, 
or text that phone number down there and I'll send you the direct link. Um, I am gonna be putting this in my funnel. So for the people that are viewing this and it's a nice branded page, I want you guys to click the link below so that you can get started tonight, okay? And get this value. I totally appreciate every last one of you guys for being here. I love you all so very much. Always remember abundance is your birthright. And I'm your coach, Stacey Christine, signing out. Have a beautiful night. Thank you.